All right, hey everyone. This is uh, this is Rich with National Leads, and just want to say thanks for for joining us. Uh, we've got a few more people coming on here. It is just now two o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Central, and eleven in the morning out there in California and on the uh, Pacific Coast. Uh, we will be starting here in just a minute, so um, just let a few more people um, join us here. And thanks so much for taking some time out of your day to join us here on the webinar with Monty Taylor and. Hopefully you can see that picture, um, picture of Monty and myself, and then uh, Monty's new book there, Profit with Leads. Um, so if, if you can't see that screen, um, you can get on Facebook um, and uh, to the National Leads Facebook page or our Twitter account or just drop me an email. We'll see how we can help, or you may need to log back in maybe in another browser. But we're going to get started here in just a second. And so we got more people coming on right now. Thanks so much for showing up. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Uh, this is Rich Nichols with National Leads, and in just a second, I'm going to turn things over to Monty so he can get get us started. And uh, um, one quick thing: if you do have any questions, I'm not sure if you can see a uh, sticky note over there on the right hand side. If you do have questions. Um, Let's see. Monty, I lost my sticky note. I'm not sure if anyone else can see their sticky note or not. You know what, Rich? It disappeared, and uh, that's something we'll have to figure out for the future. <laughs> <laughs> it, it decided to leave us. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we won't get stopped by a sticky note. <laughs> no, but uh, we, what we may get stopped by, um, just so you know, if you go onto uh, the Weather Channel website and look over central Florida, you may see there's a, some storms brewing over Florida. So hopefully Monty will be safe, and we can, uh, um, the webinar won't get. If the screen goes black, you'll know that something's gone wrong at Monty's place. <laughs> Funny uh, stuff. So anyway, we're going to get started here, and uh, uh, whenever you think we're ready, Monty, I'll go ahead and introduce you and stuff. Yeah, and I'm all good. I'm okay. All good. Let's go. All right, very good. And again, my name is Rich Nichols, and I've spoken to some of you on the phone, or at least exchanged some emails with you. And uh, thank you so much for attending. And I, I'm really excited about today, um, about some training, some uh, learning some more information about how to profit with leads. And that's what this is all about. Um, what to do beyond your warm market and how you're going to use leads to really uh, boost uh, your business that way. And I've gotten to know Monty over the last several months. Uh, we chatted through uh, part of last year and then uh, have worked together a couple of times. Um, you're really going to enjoy. I know some of you may have heard Monty before in some of our other webinars uh, late last year, and uh, really looking forward to the information he's going to share from his newest book, uh, Profit with Leads, and and um, I'm really looking forward to that. So Monty, I uh, appreciate you taking the time out of your day and uh, putting together this presentation for our National Leads customers, and I'll go ahead and turn it over to you, and uh, looking forward to sharing with you. Rich, thank you so much, and uh, I just appreciate you. I know as we've gotten to know each other how committed you are to helping your people really um, expand and uh, uh, quickly grow their businesses through leads, and you're so committed to training and helping them, and that's one of the things that I appreciate about you. I knew that about you through your blog even before we met by email and phone, so uh, I know how committed you are to helping people. That makes a big difference. So let me add my welcome and to tell all of you that uh, just in terms of time, I'm one of those guys, I love those signs when you're going down the highway and it says, hey, uh, the airport exit is only five to seven minutes away. I like that. <laughs> that way I don't need to rush. I know what to expect. And we expect this webinar to be under an hour. We're shooting for about 50 minutes. We want to, uh, And I promise you, it's going to be a very, very valuable 50 minutes, uh, not just for leads, but we're going to talk about most of the information that we're talking about uh, will help you with your warm market as well. And that's one of the things that Rich gave me in terms of feedback. He said, I, I just love the information. So let's keep going. Here's what we're going to cover on this uh, particular, let's say, 45, 50 minutes. Number one, the single most important thing you must do, the mindset for prospecting with leads, uh, 
six uh, vital scripts. I mean, these are vital. We're going to give you a little primer, uh, objections handling, and some off script strategies because we've learned sometimes people uh, will surprise you. They'll take you off your script. And then there's a special offer from National Leads and one from me. So that's what we're going to cover today. And Rich, I'm going to give this a try. Uh, I'm going to go over to play from current slide and just make, make sure that it's uh, it's playing okay there. Will you tell me if it is? Sure, I'll let you know. Okay, so right now, uh, uh, goals for this presentation. Uh, my goals, our goals, are that afterwards you say, you know what? If I, if you've never called, closed, uh, purchased leads, called them, closed them, uh, and actually brought them into your le your business, I want you to hang up after this and say, you know what? I can do this, and that leads buying becomes part of your prospecting for new business plan. By the way, Rich and I don't have an arrangement where if you buy leads, he pays me, or if I buy you buy one of my books, I pay him. We have nothing like that. This is all about helping you. Uh, not waste a single dime of the dollars you spend on leads. So another goal is that you're more efficient, effective, and comfortable in all of your prospecting, even your warm market. And we'll talk about that in a moment. And Monty, we're still on slide number two. We're on slide number two. Okay. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go back, uh, Rich, because it's not working quite the way I want. There we go. There we go. And make sure that... Uh, uh, everyone can see this. There's some nuances of Google ha uh, Hangouts that we're learning. Can you see slide number uh, three now, Rich? Yes, goals for this presentation. Perfect. All right. Thanks for pointing that out. So, and that you're just better at prospecting and also knowing when you're wasting your time with people because you know what? Sometimes you're wasting your time. That's just the way that it is. If you've been in and around network marketing, whether you're new at it or you're professional, you're going to find out sometimes you're wasting your time and we want you to have a playbook for calling and closing leads. So that's what it's all about. So let's go to number one. What's, what's the most important thing you must do? Be prepared. Now, I know I didn't borrow that from the Boy Scouts, even though I was a Boy Scout, but it, it really is so important. And here's what I mean, be prepared. The number one thing you want to be prepared with before you call a single lead is with a tracking, follow-up, and calendar system. And I happen to be showing a picture of one here. We have no agenda uh, in terms of what you use. I happen to use, uh, because I like it, I use Planner Pad Pro. Here's a picture of it. Uh, certainly go on uh, to their website if you like. It's uh, I've used many, many different tracking systems. It's the one that I like. And I'll also mention, if you'll go on National Leads website, Rich has a... Uh, and National Leads offers a, a, an electronic uh, dashboard version that you can certainly use and go on the website. Uh, Rich, by the way, what's the name of that? You might be muted. Can you step in and tell me what, re remind everybody what the name of that is? Um, it's called <laughs> igosystem.com. I, okay. I, li I like it a lot. However, I'm, I'm still handwrite. I, I like to handwrite things myself. So, okay. so electronics fine, but I like what you got right there. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's the thing I love about Rich. He, we were talking about it, he, and even though it, it's a, a profitable, can be a profitable thing for his company, he says it's not right for everybody. If you're not doing enough leads, it doesn't make sense. So one of the things I appreciate about Rich is he tells the truth. So just find a, a tracking calendar system and do that first and make sure that you're ready, willing, able, and prepared to track everybody, number one. That's number one. Here's number two. You want to be prepared with your master prospect prospector's mindset. Now, by the way, this is not airy-fairy stuff. This is the real deal, and I want to go through some of these with you. There's uh, four or five uh, uh, mindset strategies that will make an absolute huge difference to your end results. And that, the first one is clarity of intention. And what I mean by that is I, I sometimes talk about that. I'll say, you know, who do you know uh, th that is um, who, what safe self-made billionaire do you know who has interviewed more successful people and helped launch the careers of more people than Oprah Winfrey? And one of the things I appreciate about, appreciate about Oprah, she says it like this, intentions rule the universe and I think she's right on and what she means is is you have to really be aware of what your intentions are when you're prospecting and if you don't mind me saying so the only intention you want to have is to help people 
Uh, now you can say, well, wait a minute, I want to sell product, I want to enroll people, I want to enroll lots of people, I want to be, those are all good intentions, but at the end of the day, if your overarching tension when you're prospecting is not just helping people, you're going to struggle. So I would uh, invite you to have clarity and tension to help people when you're prospecting. The Jay Abraham hypothesis, very briefly, some of you may have heard of Jay. Uh, gosh, he is uh, one of the most uh, uh, renowned, uh, he is just the quintessential marketer and I've been following Jay for many, many years, over 30 years and, and have had the been honored to just uh, have a couple of private consultations with Jay and here's something he said over and over again, I've never forgot it, it's one of his hypotheses and I believe that it's true, he says most people are silently begging to be led they're looking for some leadership, someone to take the lead. And if you'll keep that in mind when you're prospecting, that part of what you're doing with your prospecting is taking the leadership. By the way, that doesn't mean talking all the time. It means taking the lead and being able to ask a, a high quality enough questions that you're leading them through a process. That's what he means. And it's a process that serves them and helps them. And if you want to take the lead, then ask better questions and we're going to help you with some of those. Change of focus strategy, that very simply means you want to make sure that when you're prospecting, especially over the phone, especially when you're out of your warm market, that your focus is not only helping people, but it's on the person that you're, tying, you're, you're attempting to prospect and take through the prospect, and you get the focus off of yourself. Uh, Rich has listened to many, many calls over the years. I've listened to many, many calls. And if you get into that mentality of trying to impress people over the phone and make uh, it all about you and how interesting you are and how successful your company is and how successful you are, people are not going to respond well to that. It's just the way that it is. You have to learn to, f and we're going to give you some ideas to turn that that focus so it's all about them and what they're looking for and what they need. Folks, these are so important. I promise you they'll make a big difference if you'll just keep an open mind and try these uh, mindset ideas. Sell what people are buying. By the way, what are people buying today? <laughs> people are looking for clarity. They're looking for connectedness. They're looking for someone who has empathy. They're looking for someone that listens, someone that doesn't yak, 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 someone that is interested in them. That's what people buy. They're looking for someone that pays attention. So be that person. Don't be the person that gets on a soapbox the minute you get a person on the phone and talk, 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 talk. It's, it's annoying and uh, it sure has never worked for me, and that doesn't work for most of the successful prospectors we know. So uh, then one other final mi master prospector's mindset that very simply summing all this up, listen more, talk less, ask great questions. And that's what we're going to help you uh, put together is some great questions that you can ask so you have a process. So we're going on here to uh, number three, that's be prepared with your scripts and communication plan. By the way, most of what you're going to do and profit with leads is develop a scripts and communication plan. And by the way, when I say scripts, people say, no, no, I don't want to work from a script. And I say, yes, you do. Because you can learn these scripts in such a way, when I'm prospecting, no one has any idea unless they uh, know my background that I'm actually working from a script. And I'm not reading it and they wouldn't know if I was, and we're going to teach you how to do that. So you're going to learn your leave a message script, and you're going to write it out, a connecting script that's connecting with people in terms of rapport, a qualifying script, you're going to love the qualifying scripts we have for you, an invitation presentation script, and that's an invitation to your presentation, and then of course closing, next step, and follow-up scripts. So these are the things that you want to get done in advance. We're going to give you some ideas on how to do that and actually s send you uh, uh, f to some, uh, uh, some places on my website where there's a workbook you can download for free that'll help you do this. So let's talk briefly about the leave a message script. By the way, why would you do that? Most people just wing this. Let me share with you, don't wing it. Have a great leave a message script and you want to do that because anywhere from 50 to 60 percent of the time sometimes more sometimes a little less you're going to get an answering machine you're going to get a voice message that's just the way that it is today and you want to have a great inviting leave a message script so what I have here is and this is very intentional 
Hi Mary, this is Monty Taylor from Orlando, Florida and you filled out a form or you responded saying that you had interest in learning more about our home-based income project. Mary, I wanted to follow up and get you all the information you need and answer any of your questions. Could you please return my call at and I leave my number. I really think you'll like what you learn and I'm looking forward to speaking with you. If I happen to be on another call, Mary, please leave your phone number and the best time to call you back. Once again, this is Monty Taylor uh, at, I'll leave my number. Have a great day, Mary. Now, that's long, but there's lots of intention in this script. I want to walk you through it. By the way, if you take a look here, uh, there you can go to montytaylor.com NL for national leads dash slides. And uh, I have a 17 or 18 page preparation workbook. It's completely free to you and it'll help you work through these scripts. That's a freebie. Just remember that. We'll talk more about that in a moment. So I want to take you through, uh, uh, I want to take you through, not my phone ringing here, uh, this script a little bit so you understand some of the intention about it. Hi Mary, I'm using her name. I use my name. This is Monty Taylor from Orlando, Florida. This gives, this gives me an opportunity to connect. She may know people in Orlando. She may know people in Florida. I'm sending the message. You want to send the message with your own script that you're the real deal and uh, put yourself out there. You filled out a form saying you had interest in learning more about our home-based income project. I like to use that. You use whatever you uh, are comfortable with. I'm kind of tired of uh, business opportunity, so I say home-based income project. I wanted to follow up and get you all the information you need and answer any of your questions. What I'm not saying here, you can hear that thunder in the background. Uh, I'm not saying, hey Mary, I want to call and puke all over you for 10 minutes and tell you all about my company until you're just exhausted. That's not what this says. And I say that tongue in cheek. Could you please return my call? I really think you'll like what you learn. And I'm futuring here. I'm looking forward to speaking with you. And if I happen to be on another call, please leave your phone number and the best time to call you back. Once again, Monty Taylor. Here's my number. Have a great day. And you want to do that with fun, be inviting, and um, I'll tell you what, I get people to call me back. Not all of them, that's not the case, but I get people to call me back and I've had people say, you know what, your message was so upbeat, uh, so inviting, uh, after I've gotten to know them, uh, that I just had to call you back. So this leave a message script is really, really important. Do not wing it. So. That's your leave a first message script. By the way, this is just me. Rich might feel different. Uh, someone in your organization that has taken you or, or perhaps teaching you how to buy leads might feel different. I only leave two messages. I don't leave five. I don't chase people. That's not my posture. It's entirely up to you. I have a final message script. It's a little bit different uh, than the first one, all but a lot the same. So it's back through. Hi, Mary. This is Monty Taylor from Orlando, Florida, and I'm leaving a second and final message. I don't make it foreboding. And as a reminder, you filled out a form saying you had interest in learning more about our home-based income project. I wanted to try you one more time and get you all the information you need. If you're still interested in home-based income, please return my call. I really think you'll like what you learn, and I'm looking forward to speaking with you. Once again, this is Monty Taylor. Hope we get to speak soon. Once again, I only leave two messages, a initial leave a message script and a final message script. That's it. Let them know that's it. I'm not going to call again. Now, in in my book, which we'll talk about later, I do there's uh I have some email follow-up scripts that really do get results and so forth. We're not going to go through all those here just in the interest of time, but there's some really interesting email follow-up scripts that you can leave um, uh, and I think you'll like them. I, I direct you to the book to get those, uh, certainly. So be prepared with your leave a message scripts, number one and number two, and then your connecting script. Let's talk about, let's talk about what happens when you get Mary on the phone. Okay, here we go. So it's basically the same script. Hi, Mary. So Mary, ring, ring, ring. Mary picks up the phone. Is this Mary Smith? Yes, it is. Mary, this is Monty Taylor from Orlando, Florida, and I understand you filled out a form on the internet and, and you indicated you had interest in learning more about our home-based income pro project. I was hoping we could visit for a few minutes so I could get you all the information you need and answer any of your questions. Now, by the way, that's a connecting script 
But this is the next thing you want to hear coming out of your own mouth, and that is, is this a good time to speak? And you want to ask that because you, you know it, folks. You're not sitting around waiting for uh, anyone to call you. I'm not sitting around most of the time waiting in for anyone to call me. So double check, is this a good time to speak? It's just professional. Go right there. And some percentage of the time, a surprising percentage of the time, they'll say, no, I'm just going off to work, or no, it's not a good time. We have family here. We're just sitting down to dinner. I was going out the door to go to work. I'm, whatever. doesn't matter. They'll say no. No problem, because you're ready with your next qualifying script. And you're going to go right and say, oh, oh, no problem. Sorry this is an inconvenient time, Mary. Just a quick question before you hang up, just real quick. Are you still interested in learning more about home-based income? Isn't that a great question? That's a great question. Because, by the way, if she's not interested, why are you bothering? Are you with me? Okay. So she might say, yes, I am, but that's not a good time for me. Hey, no problem, I understand. Mary, just real quickly so we can set up the next call, so we don't have to chase each other, what would be a day and a time we could both put dime down on our calendars? I have my pen right here. I'll phone you back. Tell me what's a good time. So put it on her. So Mary says, I have us down for Thursday at 1 p.m. You just say, is this the, still the best number to reach you? She might give you another number. She might give you a mobile. She might give you a, another number. So ask. Mary, I promise I'll phone you 1 p.m. Thursday before you go, and this is your Next qualifying question. If you were going to estimate the weekly income you'd like to make, I just want to make a note, what would you say? Isn't that a great question? She might say, oh, I don't know, or she might say four or five hundred a week. She might say, hey, we can talk about it on the next call. That's okay. Ask the question. Great, thanks. I'll call you 1 p.m. Thursday. Those scripts come from making thousands of calls and listening to others make thousands of calls. They work. You can certainly create your own style, your own, uh, your, your own patter, your own vernacular, but you want to use the connecting part of them in your own style and the qualifying. It's so important. I just want to make sure that you know that. So, by the way, some notes for you. Keep your promises. If you tell Mary you're going to call her at 1 p.m. on Thursday, call her. You have an opportunity to begin revealing your character. And isn't it interesting how many times people say, yeah, I'll call you Thursday, 1 p.m., and you never hear from them. Four days later, oh, something came up. Ouch. You spent a lot of money on your leads. Um, uh, you invested. Uh, keep your appointments. That's what the calendar for. A couple optional things here real quickly so we can keep moving. You might want to say to Mary, and I do this sometimes if she's not in too much of a hurry after I'm booking the call, Mary, would you like my phone number just in case something comes up on Thursday and things come up? You know, my kids surprise me with, oh, by the way, Dad, we have a concert I forgot to tell you about. It comes up. See if Mary would like your phone number, and there's, and there's an underlying reason for that. She might say, uh, 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 you know what, you could text it to me. Now you have the mobile, you can text it. So, Optional, would you like me to send you a reminder or confirmation note just in case? And some people say, yeah, that would be great if you would do that. That's completely optional. It's entirely up to you. So connecting and qualifying, look for opportunities to build rapport. By the way, rapport is exactly like money. When you have it, when you have lots of rapport, all kinds of opportunities, when you don't have rapport, it's like not having any money. There's, it's, it's very difficult to build a relationship without rapport. And the overarching message, say this to yourself as you're talking to people, you want to send the message, you seem like an interesting person. I'd really like to get to know you better. You do not want your message to be, gosh, you have no idea how interesting Monty Taylor is. That's not the message you want to send. Or, or, or whoever, I used myself in that. That's not the message you want to send. And if you can keep that in mind, I can tell you the, the folks that, that Rich and I know and some of you know that are master prospectors in warm market and in uh, leads, uh, calling leads, always send the message, over overarching message. Gosh, you're interesting. I, I want to learn all about you. So that is so important. So qualifying script, let's go back through those. Just very quickly, I want to make sure that you know uh, the first thing that you're qualifying with is you're saying, is this a good time to speak? And if it's no, no problem, let's set a time. And uh, they say, by the way, yes, it is a good time to speak. Then your first qualifying script is great. 
could you tell me how much money you'd want to make on a weekly basis? Isn't that a great question? Let's find out what Mary's looking for. Okay? So that's your next qualifying script. How much do you want to make? And I won't go into all the details around that. If they say $500 a week uh, or $1,000 a week or $2,000 a week or anything, one of your responses, and I think we have it down in a moment, but one of your responses can be, wow, that is great. We have a lot of people earning that income, and, and uh, hopefully we can get you there too. Let's talk about that. So next, let's go to the invitation to a presentation script. Here's how it works. Uh, yes, here it is. So Mary, great. Could you tell me how much money you'd want to make on a weekly basis? Let's say Mary says, oh, about oh, 500 a week would be perfect. Mary, I believe our business could help you earn that level of income. We have many people in our business earning that income. Would it be worth 10 minutes of your time to find out how? You see how that qualifying script leads you right into your invitation? You've asked her how much. She says X. You say, great, we have a lot of people earning that income. Would it be worth 10 minutes of your time to find out how? It all ties together. And uh, by the way, if she throws out a number and you don't have people earning that level because it's so high, don't answer, don't respond that way. Just tell the truth. If you have a lot of people, then that's the truth. If you don't, you can say we have a few people. If you have nobody earning that income because it's so high, say, hey, we don't have anybody earning that, but I'm willing to work with you to give it a shot. So this leads to, would it be worth 10 minutes of your time to find out how? Yes. So. Next, what you say is we have an outstanding introductory webinar or audio or streaming video presentation, and I really think you'll enjoy it. It'll help answer many of your questions. Mary, shall we watch it now, or shall we listen to it? Now, the reason these are in uh, um, uh, parentheses or brackets is that I'm not sure whether you're using a webinar, an audio, a streaming video presentation. Um, I actually uh, take people to... Uh, in my business to an about an eight minute audio presentation because it's quick it's very well done I've had success with it and that's what I use but you may have a your company may have a terrific streaming video they may have a webinar they want you to a participatory webinar whatever my advice take them to it right now if you can now occasionally people will balk they'll say they're out of time that's fine you can close them on that time but go with them if you can, don't send them. I've had uh, uh, more problems with sending people to those and say, yeah, yeah, go over there and watch that and let me know what you think. Much, much greater success with saying, hey, let's go listen to it together. And am I tired of listening to it? Of course I'm tired of listening to it, but I'm not going to send that message. I'm going to go listen to it again because this is about businesses and this is about helping people. So for best results, stay with them and let them know. Uh, that afterwards you'll answer any questions. So I'll say, Mary, let's go listen to it right now. Does that work for you? It's about eight minutes. Yes, let's go. Mary, before I click you into the webinar or take you in, uh, conference you into the audio or the video, uh, or we both go there and you're on your browser, I'm on my browser, uh, Mary, just want to make sure, let's get back together for two minutes right afterwards. I want to get your impressions, even if they're awful. <laughs> Whatever, Mary. I just want to hear your real impressions of it, and then uh, I'll answer any questions. So confirm your next steps. And let me just add this note. You'll see it right here. Avoid oral presentations. Uh, by that, I mean uh, I'm just not a fan of you getting on the phone and someone says, yeah, tell me all about it. And then you, you tell them for 15 minutes all about your company. It's not duplicable. It sends the wrong message to people. What you're sending them as a message is they're going to have to, to, to be able to do 15-minute uh, what I call vomiting, and most people don't do it very well. So use a tool, and whether it's a webinar, audio, streaming, video, or what have you. All right? So closing script. Uh, we're coming up on the end of the scripts here, but closing script, I'll give you one that uh, I've used over and over and over. Are there others? Yes but you'll want to have this one in your toolbox. Here it is. Before I give it to you, why do we close? Most people think it's closing people on the deal, getting the money, getting their MasterCard, getting them to say yes. That's not my definition of closing. Closing is to help people, providing clarity, direction, next steps. It's to get all their questions out on the table, out in the open.
If you don't get everything out in the open, I promise you they'll get out of your business as fast as they got into it and they'll run for the hills and you won't know why. Closing is about getting everything wrapped up so they feel good about it, they know next steps, they know the costs and so forth. It's to determine if we or they are wasting time or energy. I've closed people, by that I mean uh, uh, provided Clarion began to talk and as we go through that I realize this person's not going to be a good fit for my business. Is that important information? Absolutely. Some people it's just not right. You'll know that and you can say, you know what, I, uh, I don't think this is a fit for you and tell them why and, and move on because closing is what professional networkers do. Okay. Here's a great closing question you can use. Uh, Mary's say, watch the presentation. Afterwards, you might say, Mary, I'm interested in your pain, opinion. What did you like best about that, what, about what you saw? Give me your impressions. Let Mary talk a bit. Uh, tell you what she thought about it or felt about the presentation, some concerns that she had. Let her get them out on the table. Help her get them out on the table. Uh, one of my favorite closing questions is saying, Mary, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being low and 10 being high, how would you rate your interest at this point moving forward? And creating that $500 a week you spoke about. That's a great question. What's going to happen is that Mary's going to start putting her concerns and objections on the table, usually. Well, well, how much is this, or how much time is this going to take, or is this a pyramid, or is this MLM, or, 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 or who's going to help me, or what kind of training, and I, I don't really like, all of that stuff is going to come out, and that's where the rubber meets the road, and that's why you want to have a scale of 1 to 10 question to get it out on the table. So I, I start by summing up, Mary, you, you're looking to make extra income from home. We've had a great chat. I've really enjoyed visiting with you. You've reviewed the presentation. You've asked some great questions. I have an important question for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being low, 10 being high, how would you rate your interest in moving forward together and getting started? Great question. By the way, if she says 5 or less, you're probably wasting your time, but you can ask, Mary, what's missing for you? What's holding you back? Tell me about that because you're, you're there to help her, right? She says six or seven, great. What else would you need to move you a nine or ten? Why would you ask that? What's holding her back? What, what are her concerns? She says eight to ten, great. Let's get, start, let's get started. I'm excited about working with you and we'll get you to an eleven later. That closing is so important to get everything out on the table that you can talk about. By the way, if you're new and you're reading these and you're going, yeah, but but Monty Rich, uh, I don't ha have all the answers to all that. If you're new, uh, you can absolutely work with your upline, someone that has been in the business that is comfortable answering these, and you can say, Mary, let's, uh, that's a great question. Let's get you over to, uh, to Rich, my partner, because uh, he can really help you with some of these questions. Don't feel like you're the lone, uh, the lone ranger here. So, by the way, uh, as we close on these scripts here, sometimes people are going to take you off script. And here's what I mean. They'll say, you'll be going along and you'll be saying, uh, uh, Mary, um, by the way, you mentioned you, you were interested in uh, making uh, an extra thousand dollars a week and we have a lot of people in our business that are doing that. I think I could help you do that. Is it worth 10 minutes of your time to find out how? And instead of saying yes, she says, well, how much does this cost? <laughs> or how much time does this take? I've, had, I've been going through my scripts right in the middle and someone says, wait, 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 how much time is this going to take me? Or is this one of those pyramids? Or et cetera, et cetera. Well, do you have to sell? So people will occasionally take you off script. Just count on it. They do. They'll come in at the most awkward times. Be ready. And I want to help you with a little bit of preparation on that if they take you off script. Um, there is, uh, again, it's in profit with leads, but let me give you, a, let me give you a, one thought that will help. I don't have it down here. And that is realize that someone is voicing an unexpressed fear if they say, well, how much does this cost? And here's a great response. First, validate what they say. Say, that's a great question. Mary, do you have concerns about cost? Or if the person says, well, how much time does this take? You say, you know what? Mary, great question. Do you have concerns about time? Or tell me about your time concerns. Is this one of those pyramids? 
That's a super question, an important question. Do you have concerns about pyramids? Tell me about them. So just throw it right back on them. Tell them it's a great question. And uh, I'll, I'm going to give you some, uh, some ideas here. I think I have it on a slide in a moment. I think it will come up in a moment, so bear with me. But be prepared to be taken off script. In the book, uh, Profit with Leads, uh, I have a number of scripts that are, are, are really smart. You can eat, or, or memorize them. They're not smarmy. They're not smart elecky. And you can be prepared any time if someone takes you off script. So you're prepared with your scripts. You're going to have a playbook. You have a tracking follow-up calendar system. You have a master prospector's prospector's mindset, clarative intention, the Abraham hypothesis and so forth. You have all of your scripts, a leave a message script, a connecting script, a qualifying script, an invitation presentation script, and a closing script, and follow-up next steps scripts. So um, let's talk a little bit about managing objections and, and uh, I haven't actually seen my presentation here in, in three or four weeks. Now I see where I put it. This is the section where I put some ideas on how you could handle if someone if it takes you off script. Let's talk about managing objections, though, for a moment. Uh, I like to say fear is anticipation of uh, some future pain, and um, here's the kind of things people come up with. The truth is, it's it's not 90 things. It's not even 50 or 30. There's about 10 or 15 that you'll hear 98% of the time. People will say, "Well, I don't like to sell." Or I don't want to have to talk people into buying anything. Or is this one of those pyramids? Or is this a marketing network marketing scheme? I'm not interested. Oh, I tried that once. These things never work. And you've seen these. You've heard these. You want to be prepared with a response to these. And uh, we're going to help you get prepared on that and point you in the direction where you can become an objections handling ninja, but someone that does it with integrity, uh, very smartly, and gets results. So... By the way, just be aware there's a lot of BS out there, and when I say BS, I mean belief systems. The only BS you can control or change is your own belief system. Uh, so there's some important takeaways on managing objections. Don't wing it. Be authentic. Don't try to be clever. Always immediately acknowledge their concerns if they say, gosh, how much time is this going to take? That's a great question. I'm glad you brought that up. Always respond, always acknowledge, validate their right to a point of view, and then use expanding questions to gain clarity, such as, well, tell me more about that. Tell me more about your time issues. Well, am I going to have to sell anything? That is a great question. Tell me about uh, selling. What comes up for you with selling? Tell me more. I'm curious about what you said about selling. What's your experience with selling? Tell me more about your time constraints. Do you have concerns about cost? So it's very easy once you learn to do use expanding questions. It's very simple with people to first acknowledge and validate what they said. Great question. And then circle back around to them and say, well, I'm curious about, you, you brought up pyramids. What's your experience with pyramids? Let them rip. Let them talk about it. So here's just a couple, obviously, on this uh, webinar, we don't have time to handle every single objection, but I want to give you a couple of thoughts. Um, when someone brings up money with me, I've said, did you have concerns about money? And they said, well, yes, and they tell their story. There's going to be a story. There will be a story. Everybody has a story. Uh, uh, I'll say something like this. I'll say, Mary, if I could show you how to get started with just a small investment in your business that you could potentially get back in a few weeks, what would you say? That's a great response. Are there others? Sure, but that's one I use over and over time. Uh, Rich says, Monty, I don't know. I, I don't know if I have, I just have six or eight hours a week. I might say, Rich, if I could show you how to use the few hours you have to build a real business with real sustainable income over the next 12 to 18 months, what would you say? Or selling. Rich says to me, uh, you know, I'm just not comfortable with selling. And by the way, Rich is very comfortable with it. He's a great salesperson. But uh, I'll say, you know, Rich, you shared your concerns about selling and, and you just haven't had training. If I could show you how to take the fact that you have very little selling experience and turn that into a plus because of our special training and we could build a real business with real income, what would you say? That's a great conversation starter. And they may bring it back up again. That's okay. You say, I appreciate you bringing it back up, but if I could turn all of that in, that lack of experience with our training, 
and we can build a business, what would you say? Keep putting it back on them. Uh, MLM pyramids, someone says, uh, gosh, I'm concerned with uh, MLM and pyramids. Rich, if I could show you how our business model is not a pyramid, but a solid, ethical, proven business model that's helping thousands of people make full-time incomes in part on a part-time basis, what would you say? And they might say, well, you're going to have to show that to me. I say, no problem. I have some links. I have some things I want you to look at. It sounds like you're ready to invest some time taking a, a real look at the information I have. So those are just a couple of ideas on managing objections. I'm going to point you to where you can really learn some great things and become an objections handling ninja. But remember, even if you're a ninja, you're not in a war of words. You're not trying to win a battle of the minds. Don't pounce. Don't try to overwhelm your prospect with snappy comebacks or one-liners. Take your time. Listen and be thoughtful. Okay? So, by the way, I do have a book. My first book, uh, Objections Handled, uh, it has kind of a fun story behind it. It started with my sister uh, saying, watching my network marketing business over the last 25 plus years and her saying, you know, I'd get involved. I love the products, but I just am so nervous when people say, uh, I don't have any money. What do I say? Do you have any scripts? And I said, uh, yeah, I do. And I, I started writing scripts. I started researching over two years, looking at people's scripts uh, on the internet and reading books and taking my own and from leaders and so forth. And I found uh, uh, a lot of real garbage out there. And I found also found some great stuff for some ver some people that know how to influence with integrity. And I pulled it all together actually in a book uh, with over 180 sample scripts, sample responses to the 10 most common objections, and so forth. And and uh, I would just invite you to take a look at this book. Uh, if nothing else, go read what people are saying about it. There's some very outstanding and effective closing scripts. And here's the thing: they're not really so much meant to be memorized but it will teach you how to write your own and I promise you uh, you can you can get to the point where it wouldn't matter what anybody said to you you're comfortable you can make all your communications sizzle so I, I'd love it if if you uh, uh, considered go take a look at objections handled it's both in print in Amazon and it's also uh, as a Kindle download and by the way uh, both books I want to talk about the other one in a moment before I pass it back to, to Rich uh, both books Objections Handle and Profit with Leads have the super smart prospecting formula in there. Uh, I teach people how to connect, then qualify, invite, introduce, manage objections, close to action, and follow up. And the reason this says 007 down there is in Profit with Leads, someone said, you know, I love the formula. It's a great formula, but sometimes I forget parts of it. So I, uh, as I wrote Profit with Leads, I came up with a fun little uh, story, a metaphor of what would happen if James Bond were in a casino bar and he were prospecting and, and how, how you could use that metaphor to remember these. And that's in uh, prospecting, excuse me, Profit with Leads. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's also on my website if you'd like to hear the audio of it. So, by the way, Profit with Leads, it's available on Amazon. Uh, please consider giving a star review. In fact, I'm going to give you a, an incentive for that. Uh, there are a, there's a free 16-page preparation pages and fill-in-the-blank scripts booklet at uh, www.montytaylor.com forward slash NL for National Leads dash slides. And that booklet is there for you download it it's a fill in the blanks booklet it has some of these scripts and it's just it, I designed it as a tool to make it easier for you to develop your uh, scripts for when you're calling leads you'll love it it'll work for warm market it'll work for uh, when you're following leads and I just would love for you to have it um, by the way uh, as I'm closing my portion here uh, would invite you to su subscribe at my website. It's completely free. By the way, I never ever sell the leads or share them with anybody. Uh, I have uh, nothing to sell you or offer you at this point other than my books and uh, so everything is free. There's a weekly audio blog. There's a free report, How to Become an Objections Handling Ninja. Y you have to have this report. I put a lot of time and energy in it. Great feedback on that. Another free report on how to hold super successful three-way calls. It's interesting how many people don't know how to do that well. And then uh, I have a special offer for you just before I pass it back to Rich, and that is uh, if any of this that we've taught you, you're inspired to go 
uh, purchase either one of those books, and, and they're both well under $10, either in Kindle or in print. Uh, I don't remember the prices on them, but either Profit with Leads on Amazon or Objections Handled on Amazon uh, by yours truly. If you do buy one and uh, you take the time, just two three minutes, to go give it a star rating, and you do that, just send me an email at support at montytaylor.com and I'll come back and it would be my pleasure to uh, if if you would like to to spend 15-20 uh, minutes whatever you need with you helping you with any thoughts questions ideas you have as you follow leads that whether that's warm market or cold market and I'd be happy to coach you it's my pleasure I'm completely agnostic when it comes to companies what I mean by that is I am delighted whatever company you're with and I'm here to support you with that company so there won't be any discussion about companies which company you're with but uh, I'll coach you uh, and, uh, and be my pleasure just send me an email support at montytaylor.com if you purchase either one of the books and you give it a star rating just give me a heads up in an email and uh, my pleasure to give you a free coaching session so we have a special offer from National Leads Rich I just want to thank you you're such an amazing guy I love your blog I love reading your emails from National Leads you're the real deal um, I know how much you care about people I want to pass it back to you to talk about this and, and as we close all right um, you hear me okay I can hear you great. All right. Mon, uh, before I say anything, I just want to express my thanks uh, for you taking out the time and your day to, um, to, to share with us all. I mean, this, this, this is great, great information, and I really, really do appreciate that. And um, I, I want to say one thing real quick before I say anything about what you might see on the screen now about the 15% discount. And uh, one of the very first slides that Monty popped up was about being prepared. And if you're not ready to call your next lead because you found out maybe some information that you need to get in order before you call any more leads, um, do that first. Um, if you need to go buy the, the books, go to Amazon.com um, and just type in Monty Taylor and you'll see his books. And uh, uh, that's the best place to start. I would say get yourself prepared. Get your follow-up calendar um, go through his books. They're, they're quick reads, very good reads. Mark them up, get your highlighter, and get your pen and fill out the blanks. And then also go to that website at montytaylor.com slash was it NL dash slides, I think. And you'll see a PDF that you can download there. Great stuff. Um, I would say do that first before you uh, do anything. And so what I have here, and, and this is just if you're ready, um, no pressure whatsoever, but as kind of as an honor um, for and saying thank you for attending the uh, the webinar. Um, you won't find this on our home page. If you go to our home page, it'll just look like our regular home page. But if you go to each one of these individual pages, the real-time local leads, the real-time national leads, the Christian leads, and the travel leads, you will see that those are marked down 15%. The discount is already built into the price, so you don't need a coupon code or anything else like that. And it's just, now that's good through tomorrow night at midnight, uh, Wednesday the 16th, and then after that, then it'll go back up to regular price. And so that, that's just, if you're ready, if, if you're ready to go, you can do that, and that discount is there um, just for the taken. I'm not going to say anything else about that. Um, if, if you're ready, it's there. I, I guess the one last benefit, is if you do, you're kind of locked into that price for our auto ship, and so every time it would renew, um, now re you can cancel it any time, but each time it would renew, you would stay at that 15% discount. You're not bumped up um, otherwise. So anyway, that's just that's, it's kind of a, a, a webinar sale that you can find on our website, and that's good through tomorrow night um, at midnight. And uh, about the time I go to bed, I can log on real quick and, and uh, take it off. So anyway, um, thank you so much for attending. I'm going to turn it back over to Monty um, as well. What I'd like you to do also, um, I received three emails during the uh, webinar. Um, drop Monty an email if you want to go. Um, it's support at montytaylor.com, I believe. Is that correct, Monty? It is. Yes, Rich. Thank you. Um, drop, an, drop him an email and say thank you so much for um, for 
for what he was able to share today. Go to his website and uh, tons of free stuff there, and you can get all that. Um, Really appreciate that. Just let him know how much you appreciate the things that he was able to share, and also that looks looks like we made it through the storm okay in Florida. And, uh, <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> uh, Rich, I, I just I, I want to thank you. I want to share something. Uh, I want to talk behind your back for a moment, okay? But you can listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put myself on mute then so I can't talk. <laughs> I was going to talk behind your back for a minute. Uh, folks, um, there's not many people that will say, hey, be prepared. Don't, you know, don't, don't buy the leads. Don't buy what I'm offering until you're prepared. And I just want, there's something behind that. Rich and I were talking uh, several weeks ago. I don't remember. It may have been uh, uh, seven or eight weeks ago, but we were talking, and he shared something with me that just surprised me. He's, we were, he was talking about the number of people he was talking about starting to add more trainings to national leads in terms of of what leads to buy and what to say and so forth and that that's part of the reason that we did this training but he was sharing that uh, that it's frustrating when he hears how often people will go in and buy leads uh, whether let's just say 50 uh, leads or 100 leads whatever the number is and call eight of them get frustrated and quit and he said I, I want to do more training so that doesn't happen to people. And I happen to know that he's right. Uh, I have a large organization in direct selling. I love the business. It's a lot of fun. It's very profitable. Uh, and uh, I also know that there's been a lot of folks that have gone out and purchased leads, many, many, many. They don't tell me until later, and they called 10 or 20, and they quit because they're frustrated. And the reason they quit and the reason they were frustrated is because they didn't know what they were doing. They weren't prepared with scripts. They weren't prepared to follow up. They didn't know what to expect. They didn't know the numbers. And what Rich is trying to say to you, if you're prepared, it's actually fun. You'll you'll go through them very quickly. You'll get very fast. And and let me say this: the very best prospectors I know, both in in cold market, excuse me, in warm market, also use cold market leads and they've used as a, as a training ground. If you're a leader and, and you say, well, you know, I've never called leads because I was taught that didn't make any sense, it's not duplicable, well, it, ta it requires a lot of training but the truth is uh, my, my very, very best teammates uh, have purchased leads, uh, been through hundreds of them and by the time you've, you're done doing that so quickly, uh, there's nothing anybody in warm market could ever say to you that you're not prepared for. So it's a great training ground. I'd encourage you to use both methods, warm market and cold market, uh, to build your businesses. And I just wanted to talk behind your back for a moment. Rich, we appreciate you. You have a great company and uh, thank you so much in closing everybody and Rich, thank you. Monty, thank you so much, and uh, thank you all, everyone, and uh, appreciate your time. Any questions, email Monty at support at montytaylor.com or myself at info, I-N-F-O, at national-leads.com, and we'll do our very best to help you out.